Hey, Psych2Goers. Have you ever gone through a period of time where you just felt so sad and gloomy all the time? It's normal to get upset, lonely, or depressed when we face certain life-changing events in our lives. However, when these symptoms become persistent and overwhelming and start to affect your daily routine, it can start to deter you from leading a normal, healthy life. While you may think people with depression all cry and feel sad all the time, that's not necessarily the case. Different people may exhibit different symptoms. So to look into the ways depression can manifest itself in people's behaviors and moods, here are 10 ways depression appears in us. But before we begin, we would like to mention that this video is created for educational purposes only and is not intended to substitute a professional diagnosis. If you suspect you may have depression or any mental health condition, we highly advise you to seek help from a qualified mental health professional. Okay, let's begin. Number one, depressed mood nearly every day. Have you ever noticed a drastic change in your loved one's behavior and mood? Perhaps they used to be really happy and cheerful, but have become more tearful and gloomy nowadays. The feeling of sadness, emptiness, and hopelessness is one of the diagnostic criteria listed in the DSM-5. People who experience such a low mood nearly every day for two weeks or more would be classified as having major depression. Number two, diminished interest or pleasure in all or almost all activities. Have you ever had a friend who started avoiding the hobbies or activities you used to enjoy doing together? If so, they may be experiencing anhedonia. This is the experience of a sudden loss of interest or pleasure in activities that they previously enjoyed. Anhedonia is also one of the telling signs of depression. Number three, significant weight loss or weight gain. Have you noticed that your friend has lost a significant amount of weight since the last time you saw them? There could be a chance that they might be experiencing depression. Depression can affect a person's eating pattern, causing them to either lose or gain significant weight. You might wonder how much weight change would be considered concerning. Well, according to one of the criteria of major depressive disorders in the DSM-5, a weight change of more than 5% in a month is significant. Number four, decrease or increase in appetite nearly every day. Have you started to notice that your loved one has lost their appetite? According to Dr. Gary Kennedy, the director of geriatric psychiatry at the Montefiore Medical Center in Bronx, New York, people with depression lose both energy and interest, and this includes a loss of interest in eating. They may lose interest in cooking or lack the energy to prepare meals. At the same time, Nausea is also a symptom of depression and may be a cause for loss of appetite as well. Similarly, Deborah J. Johnston, who works at an eating disorder treatment center in Wickenburg, Ares, stated that depression can also result in emotional eating, a common event in which the need to eat is not associated with physical hunger, but a response to emotional hunger. When patients eat in response to their emotions, they are soothed by the food as it changes the chemical balance in the brain it produces a feeling of fullness that is more comfortable than an empty stomach and may help improve their mood through positive association with happier times. Number five, insomnia or hypersomnia. Do they have trouble falling asleep? Despite being tired, they may still find it difficult to fall and remain asleep. This is a condition known as insomnia. On the other hand, they might also find themselves sleeping excessively throughout the day, which is a condition known as hypersomnia. Both hypersomnia and insomnia are sleep disorders that are characterized by the disruption of normal sleep pattern, and it may be a symptom of depression. Number six, psychomotor agitation or retardation. Sometimes depression can also manifest itself in the slowing or loss of spontaneous movement. Perhaps they've started to have a lifeless complexion or have no emotional expression. This is known as psychomotor retardation. On the other hand, there is psychomotor agitation which is the opposite side of the spectrum. This can take many forms and usually involves repetitive, purposeless, or unintentional movements and behaviors. Number seven, fatigue or loss in energy. Are they tired all the time? Depression can make a person feel constantly fatigued and low in energy. This tiredness and exhaustion may cause them to cancel all of their plans with their friends and to stay in bed all day. Number eight, feelings of worthlessness, excessive or inappropriate guilt. How do they feel about themselves? A person who is experiencing depression might feel worthless or experience an excessive or inappropriate amount of guilt. 
they might be overcritical and internally belittle themselves whenever they fail to complete a task or reach their own expectations. This in turn may further lower their self-esteem and worsen their symptoms of depression. Number nine, diminished ability to think and concentrate. Do they seem to have trouble focusing? Another common symptom of depression is the diminished ability to think and concentrate. With the many negative thoughts in their head, it may end up feeling like a kind of internal noise that disrupts and worsens their thinking and concentration. This may end up affecting their ability to complete tasks or make it a struggle to do assignments and work. And number 10, recurrent thoughts of death or suicidal ideation. Sometimes depression that goes unaddressed or worsens in time leads to thoughts of suicide. People who are severely depressed might think about death and search for methods to end their lives. They might say things like, it would be better if I weren't here or be involved in risky and dangerous behaviors such as driving through red lights. If you or someone you know shows any of these warning signs, please call your local suicide hotline, contact a mental health professional right away, or go to the emergency room. Have you noticed these signs in yourself or someone you know? Remember to reach out for help if you can and that you're not alone. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those who might benefit from it. And don't forget to hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever psych to go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next one.